Heaven's California <laughs> Hey yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy OG Meso coming back at y'all with another haircut tutorial. In this haircut, we're gonna be doing a frohawk, a mohawk type frohawk type look. So right now I'm sending my ball line at the end of the uh, the vertical bars, and then I'm going around to the back of the ear. You don't want to bring this guideline too high because then you won't have room to fade. And you don't want to bring it out like too far in the back because it just narrow in the hair in the back, you know, look weird. So right now I'm balling them out. Then after I ball them out, I'm going to jump in with my wall cordless seniors with my lever open. And I'm going to go up about an inch. I think I can. Yeah, lever open, going up about an inch. I want to give a shout out to all the supporters out there. I want to thank you all for continuously watching my videos, even though I'm pretty inconsistent when I drop my videos. Uh, yeah, I just want to thank you all for watching. I'm thank you all for getting me close to 300 subscribers, and then we're gonna hit a thigh wow. So right now I'm doing my my one inch open. Then I went halfway closed, and then I went all the way closed. That's just my fading technique. It gets the line out for me. And when you're sending your line, I set in my line with my Anders Slimline Pro Lives because they are not zero gap. So I'm not putting in a harsh line at all. So actually, it's better for me to fade out that way. Now I'm coming in with my one and a half guard closed. And as soon as I get to the bulk of the hair, I'm flicking out. So I don't have to worry about creating another line for me to take out. I don't need a number two guard. I don't need clipper over cone for none of that. It's just flicking out at the right time I'm sorry about that guys my uh, camera my camera stopped recording right there so I just skipped the step and I'm doing exactly filling in on the other side Now I'm jumping in with my one guard open, and I'm going right about to the edge of where I just did the one and a half. I'm not going all the way up there because I want to keep that bulk right there. Not really bulk, but it's already blended, in, so I don't need to go all up. So I'm doing about an inch, and he won't go against the grain. So that's why you see me not going totally sideways on the side of his head because that's not against the grain for him. Now I come in with my 116th guard halfway closed to try to get out that line. Just flicking out and combing. I'm fading and combing, fading and combing. Once you really get the rhythm for your clipper, like getting rhythm and getting in sync with your clipper, then everything else becomes muscle memory. So just muscle memory. If you can see the technique that I'm doing, I'm doing mainly corners right there because I do not want to put the clipper fully flat and mess up something. So right, I'm doing some clipper over comb at the top of the boat just to just to level it out. When doing clip over comb, you don't want to keep the comb vertical. You want to have it at an angle so that you don't mess, like cut too much hair and cut it past. And right, right here, the fade method that I'm using right here, I believe it's called the the bear claw, something weird, something like the bear claw, something like that. What it basically does is smoothens out the fade. So you just want, I just did that to help with the bolt. All 
All right, so right here, I'm gonna jump in with my Andy's TL liners and start lining up the neckline. Just wanna follow the hair that's already there. Keep it, give it a nice, nice outline and a nice roundness to it. So before I started the lineup, I sprayed it with some spritz. I combed out the uh, baby, like the excessive hair, and I sprayed some spritz so that the hair can lay down properly so I can hit this lineup and make it sharp. So with the lineup, we're going to start in the middle, work to the side, and then come back in the middle and work to the other side. And make sure you use the mirror as a reference. And with the vertical bars, you want to make sure that you keep your clipper at a 90 degree angle because if you keep it straight up and down vertically, then it will look like it's being pushed inward. Like if you look at somebody straight up, you have to keep the 90 degree because it gives it the illusion that it's straight from that way, but it's not actually not straight forward now. So you got to give it that illusion. And again, you could see that I pulled out the Barber Magic Pencil because I really just love how it gives it that crispy look on the lineup. And I did not use enhancements on the ha this haircut. Nothing against enhancements, but it, he just didn't need them, so I didn't use them. Thank you. 
So YouTube, this is the cut. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's your boy OG Meso, and I'm out.